All right, and here's the last thing, which is something of a bonus as part of my ongoing quest to find the worst FPS ever and play it for no good reason. This is Rogue Warrior, starring Richard Machenkio, man. So we can bring it on, motherfuckers, or we can think we're fucking special, but I'm going to select recruits because I'm not playing this game for any longer than I'm physically forced to. Right, so we're going to an urban slum in, in the North Hampshire province of the Depurk. It's cold and stormy. It's 11 foot 3 in 1986 and 4 feet tall hours. So this game, what is this game about? It's about a guy called Richard. Richard Demo Dick Marchenko, who is actually one of the founders of the US uh, SEAL teams and stuff. He's called Demo Dick, I imagine, because he believes himself capable of demolishing things with his penis, but in fact he is known as that by the ladies because he claims that his uh, dick is only a preview and it does not reflect the full play experience. But that's not the point, he's what about to start grumbling to us. Me. Whether I'm prowling and growling or going full fucking Faulkner with lots of sound and fury, you count on this. I get the job done. Yeah, we'll see Today, about that. that. Flying under the radar. Uh, this is under the radar. It is certainly not a static skybox with some clouds moving past into fake movement. That's jockey named Travis Payton. He tells me the mission is beyond classified. So I'm running so a skeleton. So I with me generic crew, Arab terrorist and so maximum impact. SOP for assholes like me. I train these men up through the SEAL program. They've saved my ugly ass more than once. Didn't really train them to smoke, but I did train them to be extreme. When I'm staring death in the face. Okay, so apparently he's got a plank of wood there with his mission orders on it. I don't really see how that's supposed to be a manila folder or anything like that. The North Korean regime has intel on a munitions factory producing a new breed of missile. My order so I guess this was written by one of the programmers with his left hand. This is just uh, this is just the stuff from before. It's exactly the same text. This game was originally under development as a game called uh, Rogue Warrior Black Razor. Uh, back then, it was under development by Zombie Studios and would have been a team-based game. Those two would presumably have been the teammates. Now, I've no idea what the last thing he says there is. It really doesn't make any sense at all. But anyway, so we're going to lurk our way through this field and uh, yeah, that's not really sneaking. Okay, you guys stop. Look at me and then go over there. It's very tactical. If only I didn't have the safety on on my gun, I could actually be dangerous to people. Oh, my heart. Okay, so apparently that happens to all the time. Oh, right, okay, drive-by chiropractic. This is a really nice operation they got going here. They're just sorting these guys out one at a time. So this guy here, apparently he really did forget to take the safety off here. So that guy, he has now been gunned down and defeated. Check the bodies. That asshole's still twitching. And for fuck's sake, don't talk. We can't hire more than one person to do anything. That's Mickey Rourke sounding thoroughly embarrassed there. Gasp. Just imagine I have a grenade here, please. Okay, now if you actually look at the timer on the video here, you'll find that it actually has about a 10 second fuse on it. But yeah, okay, so those guys have been taken out before they can say anything. Uh, because they are useless. So we are now in a not squad based game anymore, and we are now in the game itself. Behold the terrible motion blur here. Goddamn KPA, we're waiting for us. Okay, there's some rubbish water. Dead. Jesus Christ. Oh, you didn't know their names anyway. Fuck no. Okay, so you can admire the wondrous draw distance here. And, uh, yeah, I've got my graphics card doing V-Sync here, but apart from that, I have not done anything to this game at all. It has no anti-aliasing and no real graphics either. So we can shoot out lights here, although it often takes an inexplicably large number of shots to do it. All we've got here is our Beretta 92 FS type pistol, except the front of the slider pistol is an M 1911. And we can stab people, and sometimes our knife will actually turn up a lot later than when we started. It's a bit Light late to that, you button. see. Maybe we should stab that knife with another knife. So here is the AK-74, except it's not. It's an AK-47. So uh, let's uh, pick this up, and we can see that. If you look at the pickup icon, it actually is an AK-74, but apparently the gun itself forgot that. We've also got ourselves an MP5, which is a starting weapon for every level, along with this thing, which is a suppressor pistol with infinite ammo that can do anyone in but also walls can do anyone in so we'll splat that guy into there and he will become deaded this is basically this is a this is a game about the about the act of stabbing Damn people but crawling with kpa well, of course it's crawling with kpa it's career you bloody nitwit okay so he's going to put that in there which is his favorite kill animation throughout this there's about 20 kill animations they're not actually randomized as i've done this a couple of times and it's always the same kill animations for every guy so i guess it must have just have one set for each person or something stupid like that. Uh, uh, this game is rather unfairly known as one of the worst FPSs of all time. I guess it's known by that by, as that by people who haven't played Turning Point, as I said. So uh, we can shoot this out, which will allow us to put on our night vision goggles and fool people, which will allow us to basically just allow us to stab people in silly vision. 
All it does is toss a filter over the uh, screen. It doesn't really do any kind of night vision effect at all. And uh, it's not, not really any different because you can still just run up to people and do this even if they're alerted to you. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, they can't actually hear anything other than gunshots, uh, and so they won't be alerted if you just run up behind them and splurge them like this. I am Sam Fisher, behold me. So let's take off our useless night vision goggles and carry on outside into this square where we will find men who are trying to get us, but they won't because we've got ourselves a sniper de rifle here. You, sir, I'm going roll, to throw you over there I because roll. I am not a light man, don't you know? That uh, line he said there is actually triggered by uh, you walking up to the window, even if you don't have the sniper rifle at the time. I guess you're supposed to. So here's another line. Let's shoot this guy that motherfucker, you fucking amateur. You can probably see in the scope that there's a reticle, and if you look through here, it's a different reticle. So uh, this this thing here is called Scope Overlay M40A3. Due to a programming error, it ended up on every rifle in um, every sniper rifle in Call of Duty 4, even though there were actually eight reticles in that game. Which is silly. So, uh, to switch weapons, tap none, because I don't have anything set to it. I've just got up, switch up and switch down. Uh, to enter cover, tap left control, pull back on the left stick. Okay, I'll just get right on Bring that with noise, my keyboard. Bitch. Okay, so I'll throw a grenade over there, which will deal with those men's there. Uh, the grenades in this are pretty ineffective because they're really, really, really difficult to aim and often don't go off. And as you can see, I don't know where he was hiding, but uh, you really don't have any health in this game, even in easy. I mean, it's a pretty easy game just because the AI is so incredibly stupid, but they've tried to balance it out by just having the AI kill you ridiculously quickly. It doesn't really work out. It's still an incredibly easy Bring game. Noise, but, uh, Let's throw a grenade over there again. We just throw it out the center of the screen, even though that's not where it is. And it's another one of those uh, irritating games where the uh, grenade models are all the same, regardless of whether it's being thrown or picked up. So you throw grenades with the pins still in them. Hey, let's do use some of our silly cover system here. You can see there's no holes in the fore end of this SVD, which is wrong, and we will put a hole in him, which is right. And then we'll reload it. It's also got the magazine release in completely the wrong place for an SVD, which means this is actually part of it, partly a Romanian PSL, and the magazine is also part of that. I guess it's so that guy's going to kick through there, but we'll no scope him. The recoil in this game doesn't work very well either. You're going to start seeing that when we start using machine guns in a minute. But uh, let's pick up this thing here. It's an OTS-02 Kiporus. I don't know how to pronounce that, neither do you. And uh, this model is just completely wrong. It's actually supposed to have an injection port on that uh, rectangle on the top of it, but it doesn't. It has it on the side Send instead, the and it doesn't really have it there either. Yes, he actually has a piece of speech for a car exploding, and he insults it. That's how extreme he is. Uh, so we will just go into cover here for a minute here, so you can see it ejecting from the wrong place. And you will actually have to look at this in full resolution just to see the spent casings, because they're tiny, you see. Apparently it fires grains of rice or something. Also, if you haven't fully completed a reload animation uh, before you switch stances or do something else, as you see here, the uh, magazine isn't even inserted into the magwell. They've really screwed that, and that would never be able to hold over there either. Everything about this game is wrong, but yeah, if you haven't fully completed a reload animation, you will have to do it all again. So we're going to have to walk some stuff away from this in order to pick up the gun we actually want, which is the all caps Pechenegg. Every single aspect of this gun model is completely wrong. The way he reloads it is wrong, the proportions are all wrong, and uh, the belt doesn't move or anything. It's rubbish. Uh, and, uh, you're going to see it being wrong in another way when we actually fire the thing as well. So let's go through here first and give this man a knife. But first we'll have to hear his career, because otherwise you miss out on one of the glorious lines that this game furnishes us with. You, sir, I'm going to splab you in your necks. Okay, so now we're going to actually get the line in a minute. God damn cock breath coming, motherfuckers! <laughs> Now, this game actually takes its name from the autobiography of the real guy who this guy is supposed to be, so uh, you have to wonder if like all of these lines are actually taken from that autobiography. I hope so, because it's very, very entertaining if it was. You, sir, that didn't even fire. I mean, come on. I get, maybe, maybe maybe he was just immune, not immune to being poked in the eye with his own gun. It's too extreme for him. So you, you can go into that wall, and then we will run up to other people and stick knives into them as well, I suppose. That's what we do. So this is a shotgun. It's the uh, Hawk Pump Action Shotgun, which has a magazine because they're much too lazy to uh, do a proper shotgun reloading animation. And for some reason, during the reload animation, he actually pitches the magazine at the ground as if he doesn't trust gravity. I guess he, maybe he thinks it's commie gravity around here and will betray him. You, go down there. And that's fatal. He comes from the, he's from the Carson school of uh, finishing moves, I suppose. So anyways, you can deal with that. Apparently it ejects, uh, it ejects the rounds, ridiculously large rounds, from the wrong side of the gun. It ejects from the same side the belt is on. Also, this, uh, as I said before, this gun's belt is not animated at all. We're going to see that when we start firing from cover later. And it's also stuck in the same position. He doesn't mount it or anything, so... Uh, 
Apparently it just uh, it's just a static piece of nothing and it just enters the weapon of its own accord. So we've gunned that guy down there, we lean out here and you can see the belt doesn't move at all. Uh, it's really great to put a support weapon in a game if you can't be bothered to animate it. I don't think they could really be bothered to do anything with this. I don't think Rebellion even wanted to make this game really, so it's just pushing it out the bloody door after um, Zombie Studios didn't want to do it either. So that guy's going to go and hide in there because that's what he does and that's what he's known for. So we will throw a grenade at the wall next to him and that will work. There we go. We timed it perfectly. And let him kill this guy over here. Now, uh, this game has a nasty habit of grenades having incredibly variable abilities to do anything and also men having incredibly variable abilities to stand so long they're dead. You, that wasn't subtle. Right, so he's been defeated and that guy's going to go in there and so we'll throw a grenade at him because he's got no defense against that. Right, so over here we have a shotgun, but uh, we don't really want that, but we're going to pick it up anyway because we've got a machine gun. You'll see this, uh, you'll see this uh, as we start firing this a bit more around this corner here. That, you know, they really don't do people. Were they just waiting to shoot that wall out? You know, just kind of walks backwards and forwards as if it's an actor just faking firing it rather than an firing an actual gun which has recoil and shit. Uh, this is the only one that really has any kind of bullet distribution at all, which makes it marginally less useful, especially since it doesn't really do that much damage, and it's certainly not much damage to too. So we've got to take care of that guy, and he'll eventually duck his head down so that we can spare him the embarrassment of being in this game a minute longer. And then we can go in here. This is the end of the level. You say, at the end of the level, I'm going to punch you in the face with your own gun, because that's how I roll, sir. And then I will punch him some more, because that's more violence. Okay, he's so going to ignore the dead contact and pick up this... Incredibly right, creased, right, right. flat Tell piece of paper. Uh, Matter of perspective. No. I recovered the intel. Commies are building the missiles right here. In it was the first piece of paper the I picked up. By the docks. Good. Maintain your objective. Find out what they've got, and if necessary, destroy it. Marcinko, you copy that? Sorry, I'm going to go and put some more grease in my hair. I've nearly run out. Because they just kind of walk into this room and then shoot at him a few times, but can't hit him from a yard away. Oh, a grenade! Maybe we should have done something about that. Right, so Mosenko's going to give us the briefing. Washington called this a simple op, but Mr. Murphy already called their bluff. Now my men are dead, and I intend to finish what I started. The intel I liberated from our informant indication and munitions dead. factory is turning out missiles for the great leader. They had to I'm chain that one up. Obviously, it's a very dangerous missile. Okay, so it's in the fridge of the Nurg docks, and this is where the missile hulls. I think you mean uh, bodies there. Anyway, so that's that. That has been Rogue Warrior, and I have been Evil Tim. We might continue that later, or we might not. Who knows? Goodbye.